don't think this is a good idea. Besides the fact the food must be spoiled. We're exposing ourselves, and we might get caught. No, we are not. You'd rather die of hunger? You don't even know how long we'll be here. I guess. Did you guys get any chips or soda? We can't break the machine. If we tried, they'll hear us. I guess Sloppy Joe would do. Let's hope it didn't catch any bacteria. Old pork? Risking our lives? Just what the doctor ordered. All right, let's just keep a positive mindset. Let's go. They're coming. Get ready to open the door. I got it. But keep it quiet. Do you have to stay at the window? This is our last hideout. If they Guys, see us, it's over. Anymore. I'm off the fence. Yo, bro, remember what happened last time? Yeah, man, please don't do it. We need you. I want to go home. Don't worry. We'll be OK. I just don't get it. What? How this was one of the first areas attacked, yet they left and never returned. That's true. Exactly. So what do you think is going on? It means that nobody cares, and I'm hungry, so what do you have? Sloppy Joe. That's all we can get, that's all we can find. So this is what we're gonna eat? We need to figure out a way to escape. Cafeteria food will be done soon. Yeah, cafeteria food doesn't last forever, and it's probably gonna be spoiled too. Yeah, I agree. Mr. Oviedo's snack stash has kept us alive for now, but we need to find a way to jump the fence. Yeah, you remember what happened to the last one that tried that? Don't even remind me. Did you even see it? No, no one did. All we heard was the screaming. And the agony, and the running, and the hiding, and the get down, and the turn off the light, it was just chaos! I really need to get out of here. I miss my family. Yeah, me too. And no cell phone signal. Guys, I think that during our first night here, someone Ugh, impeccable timing, Kaylee. Seriously? Oh is this on? Okay, this is on. Hey, Boom Wildcats. Okay. Does everybody know what they're gonna say? You guys know your lines? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo, oh my gosh. That test was so hard. I'm so surprised I even passed. Not for me. <laughs> me neither. Practice makes perfect. You mean your parents force you to study? It's not called forcing, it's called getting involved. When parents don't get involved, we get bad grades. I'm not gonna lie, some of those problems were just too much. Yeah, all the grade levels were complaining. Like so many Did anyone in you guys get sick? Like four people in my class asked for passes to go to the clinic. It happened in your class too? Yeah, I don't feel too good. And it's probably the breakfast. Where's Mr. Oviedo? We need to get started. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting pretty hot, so I'm gonna go by the door. I don't think we're supposed to be opening the door. Yeah, you might get attacked by zombies or something. Yeah, you and your stories again. Wait, 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 what is he saying? Yo, stop talking so we can hear. Please do not dismiss. Do not leave the classroom. Teacher, do not Oh, no, 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 no. Open the door! Guys, do not open that door. What's that? Oh, my gosh. I'm out of here. <laughs>
Yeah, they must be eating whatever is in their path. I hope that whoever's out there is safe. I hope my family's okay. I want to go home. We all do. Came! Easy there. You fall asleep again. Relax. I just think that maybe we're not the only ones who survived. That's what we're all hoping for. No, but listen. They were going to get us all, but they've been held back. You think someone did something for them not to come in? Exactly. Someone who knows how to keep them away. Even better, someone who figured it out. But how? Forget about how. We need to find this person. Probably Mr. Livingston, or even the officer. But what if instead of venturing out there, we stay here? That's a good point. I don't want to be nobody's dinner. Yeah, I don't think they would want that either. Very funny, Cameron. Ah, ha, ha. Yo, let's find a way we can all go outside. I'm ready for whatever. Hello, boy. Here we go again. The heroes. Yeah, right. Have you seen what we've been up against? If only our phones were working. Yeah, like AJ said, we can't be playing hero. We could, just like what we do to get food. We create teams and check around the buildings. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Guys, I gotta get out of here. We're not gonna make it. Bro, Jeremiah, you have to stay here. We have to stay together. Stay here? Have you seen them things? Nah, I'm out. Yeah, you're not gonna make it, Jeremiah. What? Watch me. I'ma run, I'ma jump the gate, and I'm out of here. You and that attitude are gonna put us all in jeopardy. Well, to which is on. You guys had your chance, now I'm out of here. Wish me luck. Jeremiah, run! Jeremiah! Yes, no, let you can't go outside! Run! We gotta save him! No! is no Nazir, stay on the lookout! Oh, alright. Guys, I think we should keep looking. Guys, I think we should take this. Why would somebody take a math problem to the back door? We just took the whole building and found no clues. So much for that idea. Could this math problem be a clue? What could we do? Solve it and find an antidote? I mean, it's a possibility. Are you guys being serious right now? Ariana. Hmm? Your hair. What about it? You just had it all down. No. The entire time we've been here, my hair's been like this. No, it's not. Your hair was just down. No, it's been like this, okay? All right, now. It was down. I think so. Hmm? Hmm? You guys say something? Guys, wait first. Run! Oh! Oh, no, no, no. oh my God, Lily! I don't want to die in one day. Just get help her!
What is going on here? This is crazy! If they know that we're out here, we're in serious trouble. Is everybody okay? We should consider moving to another building. We aren't safe here anymore. We don't even know which buildings are safe! Thanks for nothing, Alana. I'm sorry, I panicked. Did you see their faces? I don't even know how I passed that test. I think, I think I may be turning. My heart's beating really fast and I'm sweating. You're just hyperventilating. Can you please stop using big words? All right, calm down everybody. Let's just get inside. Are you okay, Kaylee? I'm just a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, we've been noticing that you've been falling asleep a lot recently. It happens a lot more when I'm stressed. You forgot your pills, didn't you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left them in the testing room. We're just concerned because we don't want you to get caught while you're sleeping. It's okay, Kaylee. We're just trying to make sure you're protected. You have to cancel the whole number. And on both sides. Draw a line and bring the 5x down. And then I'll add the 24 and 11. Now you have to eliminate the coefficient. Now divide by 5. 7? Hmm. Good job, guys. That's a clue. It could be a building number, or the Seventh Amendment. It could be the seventh letter of the alphabet, too. Or nothing at all. We're just reading too much into things. Where is everybody else? What if they were captured? Now I'm hungry. Who's going to go get the food? All right, guys, this is uncharted territory. We could have just stayed. This is what happens when you take risks. We're trying to survive. I think the bad building is clear. It's now or never. All right, let's go. Has anyone noticed that Notice what? The fact that we're in an elective building. And this is also an elective building. Kaylee, the faster you get to the point, the better. Why aren't they entering? They're not even nearby. I don't know, but we can't stay here a long time. We don't have food. It's a math problem, but it's incomplete. An arrow? Follow. Follow. Follow the arrow. Which way was the paper positioned? This way. No way. another protected area. If you studied, you will get the right answer. If you pay... Attention! Thank you, AJ. You will find me. Yo, didn't you say there was another piece of the problem? Yeah. Yo! Look! That's the whole problem. Let's solve it then.
Mine like turns. Why cancel it out? Okay, so combine the like turns again. And then the five by five. X equals two. Two? So now what? Do we say it out loud? What day is today? No, it's not that. Let's just try to make it back to the room. We were worried about you guys. Where were y'all? Here, share. That's all we have left. Did you guys find any other survivors? No. But we think we have a clue. A clue? What is it? If it involves venturing out again, count me out. I'm not risking my life again. At some point, we may have to. Yes, Oscar, we all know you don't want to die of hunger. Bro, just be quiet. Wait, where is everyone? They're in the back, sleeping. So what's the clue? We found this math problem taped to a wall in the music building. <laughs> Wait, just like the one we found when this one here almost let me die. Lily, I already told you what happened. Did you guys solve it? Ours wasn't easy. Yeah, we did. Let me see it. Seven. Ours was two. Did yours have a message? No, did yours have one? If you studied, you will get the right answer if you pay attention, you will find me. Find who? Maybe there's a connection. There could be hundreds of possibilities. Maybe thousands. We're gonna die. I'm never gonna see my parents again. The last conversation I had with my mom is an argument. I wish I could say sorry. Was that your stomach? Yeah, what do you expect? We haven't eaten ages. If you study, you will get the right answer. If you pay attention, you will find me. I say we go for it. Even if all of us don't make it, we only have two granola bars left. Yeah, we can't stay here forever. So let's do it then. Well, Xavier, I know you play baseball, so you can have this. Thank you, Francisco. I do anything it will take to protect you guys. Oh my god, what are they doing? Are they eating someone? Oh my god, I don't know. I think this was a bad idea. We should create a distraction. Otherwise, we won't be able to jump the fence. Maybe we should send all the 8th graders first. We can hear you, you know. What? I have a lot to live for. <laughs> Diani, is that you? You survived? Are you... When we were attacked, they stopped. And they were staring... We don't have time for this! They were staring at a clue. What? The map problem. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh my god, oh we're gonna god. die. Oh You're you pulling me over. Oh it's a joke. It's October. Oh my god. All right, guys. I'll go create a distraction. Okay, we'll, we'll go, go with you. you. And us four will go get whatever they're looking at. Okay. What about me? Are you okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I don't trust you. <laughs> Let's go. I see papers in the middle Be of the hall. We got it.
Hey, are you coming tomorrow to the meeting? Yeah, I'll be there. I really hope you are, because I really need help with this project. And if you do come, I'll bring you fairy chips. What are friends for? You, you, you survived? You survived? Can you let me in, please? I don't, I don't think, think it's, it's a, a good, good idea. idea. Please? But, but you're, you're outside. outside. I love, I love you. you. You do? You're not, you're gonna, not gonna let, let me, me in? in? You, don't you don't care, care about, about me? me? No! no. You're, You're one, one of them. Of them. You're, not You're not gonna, gonna let, let me in? in. No, no currently. I'm not, I'm not gonna, gonna let, let you in. in. Sorry. 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 Let, let me, me in. in. And even some of these were on the test. I think it's three per grade level. F of two equals six X plus four. Now we gotta implement the two. F of two equals six times two plus four. Six times two is 12. 12 plus four is 16. So F of two equals 16. Absolute value of negative 96 plus 8 equals, well, the absolute value of negative 96 is 96 plus 8 equals 104. So we have to find the area of this trapezoid that has a height of 8 and a base of 14. To do that, we have to do base times height. So 8 times 14 equals 112. Two, oh, 272. It's height, so just HS. One, two, three, six, seven, and sixteen. One hundred four, one twelve, and one twenty two. Okay, now I'm really confused. Mom, well, what are you supposed to do with this? Why would the zombies even be hanging around papers with math problems on them? There has to be a connection. Wait, did everybody pass a test? Where have you been? Uh, right here? No, you have not. This has to be a coincidence. There's no way that the students are zombies who failed the math exam. Guys, come on. This isn't a movie or a short film from Boone Middle School. This is the real world. Students turning into zombies for failing math tests? That's, that's ridiculous. It could be. It doesn't mean they're not able to. People just don't be studying sometimes. Or pay attention in class. Some of them just say, what do we need math for? We need math for everything. Yeah, like right now. Wait, there are three problems per grade level. The answers were one, two, three, six, 7, 16, 104, 112, and 122. Wait a minute. There's words on every page. You will find me look room at odds in the middle. Wait, let me see those papers. If they're divided by grade levels, right? So who's your math teacher? Mr. McKinney and Ms. Overstreet. And you? Miss Ashada? 
Miss Adorado. Miss Adorado. I got Miss Adorado. Miss Adorado. Mr. McKinney. Mrs. Hood. These are classrooms. The clues are classrooms. Or maybe there's weapons in them. Or food! No, ev every clue sounds like we need to find something. Or someone. Can you read the words again? What words? You know, the ones that are on the paper. You will find me look room at odds in the middle. It's seven! Seven? You will find me look room at odds in the middle. You will find me look room at odds in the middle. It's an odd number. It's seven. It's seven. I'm telling you, it is seven. Oh, wait. Seven is right in the middle. I told you, it was seven. OK, so it must be room seven. Let's go. Oh. Guys, I think this is a bad idea. Remember what happened last time? It might happen again. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again. And expecting different results. Guys, look! There's a bunch of math problems on the walls. I think... I think this is it. <laughs> They're literally all over the walls. Wait, hold on a minute. This is the next principles class, right? Students, normal. You're alive? Wait, is there any food here? We thought we were the ones that survived. Wait, first things first, do you have any idea what happened? I'm glad you asked. I thought I was alone. How'd you figure out there were survivors? When I managed to get to the cafeteria, I took as much food as possible. But for the next few days, most of the food was gone. But... Don't they eat? I didn't think it was them. How come? No mess. They must be eating others that survive. I honestly don't know. The only thing I did realize is they're aware. And out of all the things I tested, they respond to math. It's the only thing that they stop to analyze. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. That's why they stopped when Billy was getting attacked. They stop and they just stare. They don't they don't touch it. After a while they just they just walk away. Like a repellent. Yeah. Some get furious and run away. Others they react calmly. Once I figured there were survivors, I started putting math problems around campus. So why the riddles? Why didn't you just write down where you were directly? Since they don't attack where there is a math problem, I knew it served as protection. I thought if I make math problems and put them around, it would protect them. At first I was in another room and I wrote a guide to my location. <sighs> they came and attacked and I barely survived. So you hid your location within the math? Exactly. You guys knew the importance of studying and were able to solve it. Now, I want to show you something. Yo, this room is neat. <gasps> Never mind, I'm out of here. It's perfectly fine. They won't do anything. How did you get them here? 
Their extended time. I was watching them while the test administrator stepped out of the room. This is how I discovered what stops them. This can even be the cure. Did you just say the cure? I know it sounds crazy, but if they're forced to stay near a math problem, they begin to change. So you've had them since the beginning looking at problems? Since I figured it out like three days ago. How do you know that it's curing them? I see some changes in their cognitive behavior. Cognitive? Intellectual activity, thinking, reasoning. Remembering. Do you feed them? They won't take anything. Uh, this is so weird. I'm glad that you made it here. I mean, you guys are it. You should actually stay the night. Tomorrow, we devise a plan to make it out of here. Remember, we have to solve for x first. And what's in the parentheses, too? No, you have to divide by two and then cancel it. Yo, this problem was on the test, too. Nine. Oh my gosh, she's talking! Guys, she's talking! The answer is nine. Go call Miss Principe. I should have studied for the test. She's changing! Go! Can I please get up from here? We don't want to be here anymore. We were just solving the problems. Did they see you solving the problem? No! We were just saying the steps out loud. You're driving us insane. Especially the girl with the glasses. She is so annoying. Change a plan. There's no escape. Now it's a rescue. Exactly. All right, guys, this is the rescue plan. You infiltrate the office and get the intercom ready. I don't really know how to turn that on. I can help you. So who's going to get the bullhorn? Lily, Alana, get the bullhorn. Go to the hallway. You know what to do. Yeah. Okay, so you're asking us to sacrifice ourselves? And listen, nobody's going to die. We're going to get through this. All right, guys, this is it. We get to save our friends. And we get to go home and see our families. So wait, just in case, are we going to have a plan B? Well, our plan B, well, plan B is that plan A won't fail. So can we leave like the people we don't like as zombies, like the bullies? Jasmine, it's time to show some kindness. I remember where the blue horn is. It's in that room. But we need to be careful, guys, because trust me, they are over there. Right there. Are you sure? Yeah. Wow. 
first we have to bring the y to the other side to do minus 2y. So 4y minus... To find this length of a side chain, also use Pythagoras theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Totally use PEMDAS. They need to use PEMDAS. To find the length of a side, you have to use a distance formula. Totally, you need to use substitution. Okay, okay. The slope intercept form is y equals the slope, and b is the y intercept. So we have to do this, which is rise of a run, which is also the slope, right? D equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. To do this, you have to use the endpoints of each line. To find the length of a side, you have to use the distance formula. D equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And then you have to use the endpoints of the side to fill in the very... <laughs> Alright, you got me. I'm finished. I did my part. I saved up. What are you talking about? I'm healed. Wait, I'm sorry. What? I'm healing. No, you're not. Last time I seen you, you were a zombie. No, silly. I'm human. I'm here to help you. <laughs> so the X2 would be the X of the first coordinate. Oh my god, Xavier, help us! you guys in it. Really? Me too. You guys are all in it too. Me too. In the dream, everyone in this room was like in a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, and everybody in here was a survivor. We were like saving all the students because they were zombies. And we had to solve a lot of math problems. <sighs> oh my gosh, and mine too. I ended up punching a lot of zombies. I was protecting everybody with a metal pole. No way, in my dream too. We all had the same dream. No way. This is crazy. Hello, are you not listening to me? minutes, I told you we had to end this test together. I think we're all, all right, thinking. you can't go over the time. Yeah. You got me the last one to go to we, lunch. Will you wake you up finish and the test? test already? Yeah, we finished oh early, that's why we took a nap. too long for this. 
This is unbelievable. I know, right? Um, well, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Yeah, it felt like we knew each other for so long. Yeah, with that dream. What was it like, three weeks? Yeah, and it's crazy because we don't even know each other. We just met. Yeah, now we're stuck together. Yeah, you were the first one that ran away. I don't even remember any of that. And in my dream, Oscar was actually defending us from you. Yeah, yeah. mine too. I think yeah. I remember some of that. Yo, God, I can't believe we all had the same dream. I know, right? That was so crazy. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. I don't know what happened, but we gotta get to class. Okay, let's go to class. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hopefully this Bye. never happens again. Dreams refer to a series of thoughts, images, and sensations that occur in a person's mind during sleep or even while awake. During dreams, our consciousness ventures into alternate realms, often defying the constraints of physical reality. Girl, go to class. Oh yeah, nice to meet you. The fine structure of the universe around us becomes delocalized, creating a cognitive model of reality unique to the dreamer. Reality represents the state of things as they actually exist, independent of our thoughts or perceptions. It encompasses the tangible world we encounter through our senses. Sometimes, we wake up from a dream only to realize that we are still dreaming, a phenomenon known as false awakening. During this moment, the boundary between dreams and reality blurs challenging our certainty about what is genuine. The eerie feeling accompanying false awakenings highlights the fragility of our grasp on reality. Dreams often glimpses into alternate realities, while reality grounds us into the tangible. Both coexist shaping our understanding of existence and challenging our assumptions about what is truly real.